Capricorn, what's good? Welcome to your reading. Um, today we're going to take a look at your past, your present, and your future. Then we're going to pull one card for your energy, and then we're going to pull three cards for your most likely outcome, okay? Also, I hope that your Mercury retrograde is going okay. <laughs> Make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe as well if you enjoy this video. Universe, spirits, and guides, please give me three shuffles for the sign of Capricorn. shuffle universe spirits and guides what can you tell me about the sign of capricorn sorry cappy i gotta um turn my phone on silent i thought i did that my bad guys all right Your overall energy is the Eight of Swords. You may be feeling stuck to someone or something, and you just might be feeling stuck in general. Um, feel like you're in your head here, but Eight of Swords, this is, you know, this is you doing it to yourself, okay? Uh, no offense. In the past here, we have the Three of Wands, the Three of Cups, and the Three of Swords in reverse. I feel like you or someone else was waiting on a reconciliation, possibly with somebody um because i feel like you wanted to get over this or somebody just wanted to get over this someone maybe for wanted to give an apology or forgive the other okay in the current moment here we have the six of coins the devil in reverse and the star somebody here is accepting their flaws somebody here or is acknowledging i don't want to say accepting but they're acknowledging the fact that they may have some bad habits whether that's mentally emotionally in the physical world whatever it is but somebody wants to give to um somebody else maybe even help somebody else with these issues okay whether that's you or another person and um hope staying hopeful wanting to stay hopeful you know um keeping faith in something okay whether that's a person or yourself or a situation however uh in the future here we have the seven of swords the nine of wands and the queen of wands here some kind of deception here that's causing maybe you and another person to feel guarded okay this could be the the pre-shadow here with this eight of swords you being stuck in your head about something that could kind of have something to do with this future energy here we're obviously going to have to take a look. Universe, spirits, and guides. Why is the Eight of Swords here for Capricorn? Alright, I'm not taking all those. Why are all these cards flipping over today? Give me one more card for the Eight of Swords, please. at the bottom of the deck so for your overall energy here we have the eight of swords clarified by the hangman and the high priestess this is like you being in this energy of feeling stuck not really knowing what to do you kind of taking a backseat on a situation trying to evaluate things trying to figure out what the best course of action is here but i don't think you're telling anybody i feel like you may be keeping this to yourself or just keeping it to yourself in general I feel like you have a lot of thoughts. There's this is you thinking about things. Even I even want to say weighing your options, even though the Two of Pentacles isn't here. But with all this kind of taking a back seat or feeling stuck here, it's like you're trying to get out of that, and you're trying to get out of that by gaining a new perspective here. And you're not really telling anybody. I feel like you're not really telling anybody. Whatever this is, um, I feel like 
this queen of wands here shows up at the very end in the future and is showing up at the bottom of the bottom of the deck so this could be a male or a female doesn't matter this could be you okay but i feel like it may be something about a person here somebody you may uh, view as very attractive doesn't care what everybody else thinks has a lot of admirers okay male or female doesn't matter and like i said this could be you why is the three of wands here why is the three of wands in the past here for capricorn That Queen of Wands popped up again here. We have the Three of Wands clarified by the Queen of Wands and the Emperor in reverse. The first thing I thought of was power struggle. I feel like there may have been a power struggle between you and another person. This is a past person for sure uh, with that three of swords in reverse there. There's definitely a past person. I feel like you both were waiting on each other. But there's somebody here that was more so mm, focused on their confidence, regaining their confidence or gaining their confidence or whatever. You know, um, very determined energy, taking action. And there was another energy here who is trying to control the situation. Or somebody that's too domineering, somebody immature, um, you know, somebody that doesn't think before they act. Just very controlling energy. I'm sorry, it is so hot in here. Give me one second, um, Capricorn. I'm going to turn on the AC, okay? Um, so there was one person, you know, focused on their confidence. And there was another person quite controlling. But I feel like you and this other person were possibly waiting on each other. Um, why is the Three of Cups here for Capricorn in the past? So we have the Three of Cups clarified by the Fool and the Seven of Swords in reverse. Somebody said screw it. I feel like somebody stopped waiting in the past here. Somebody stopped waiting on the other person. I feel like somebody went after it and I feel like they had a lot of things to say. I don't know if they said all of them. I have no idea. But there might have been a resolution here because the Three of Swords in reverse comes right after that. This could be forgiveness. Why is the Three of Swords in reverse here? Wow. Why is the Three of Swords in reverse here? What this looks like to me, we have the Three of Swords in reverse clarified by the Ten of Swords in reverse and the Seven of Coins in reverse. What this looks like to me is somebody felt like this was successful and another person didn't. This looks like to me somebody, um, somebody went off and they're like, woo, like everything's resolved, I got forgiveness, everything's great, and somebody was like, God, this was a waste of time. This was a waste of time. Or this is you both forgiving each other and um, feeling like you don't really need to invest in the situation anymore. But I feel like, in my honest opinion, this is like one person walking away not really fulfilled, feeling like they didn't get what they needed out of the situation and somebody else did. I don't want to say too much. Um, I want to keep going. I don't. You know, I have my opinions, but we'll see. Why is the Six of Coins here for Capricorn? We have the Six of Coins clarified by the Queen of Coins in reverse and the Seven of Wands in reverse. If this is you, um, it's almost like you came to this, you, it's, you know, if you're the one that walked away unhappy in this reconciliation or this conversation or whatever this was, if you're the one that walked away unhappy, I feel like you still left, 
you still left the situation feeling unstable. I feel like you still feel like like you were the person if you were the person that were was to always put in effort into the situation i feel like you still walked away feeling depleted i feel like you still walked away feeling depleted i feel like you still walked away feeling like you gave too much of your time your energy you know and i feel like you, you genuinely feel like you really got nothing out of it you once again feeling like you're feeling like you're you're investing in something where you're not getting anything back. Not really. But I feel like somebody walked away like, oh yeah, everything's great. But you're walking away feeling depleted again. You know, if this is you, this is a general reading. Feel free to switch roles if need be. Yeah, you're having, you're having some internal conflict here. This, that's, is, this is exactly what I thought. You felt like this was a waste of time because you still didn't get what you wanted out of the situation. I don't know if things were left unsaid or what was going on here. So why is this devil um, in reverse here? Why is this devil in reverse here for Capricorn? We have the devil in reverse, clarified by the temperance in reverse, and the queen of swords. You may have enlightened this person. You may have hit, you may have enlightened this person here. Okay? You may have said, I don't see any progress with you, or you're still doing the same thing. You know, I feel like, I don't feel like you were rude about it necessarily, but I, this is like somebody... This is like somebody here told the other person about themselves in a way, okay, um, or they will, and it's like you or someone else is trying to make the other person realize these bad habits that this other person has. This could be codependency, this could be addictions, this could be a frame of mind, you know, uh, an emotional, um, reacting from a negative emotional space, you know. And I feel like somebody else was trying to enlighten this person or is trying to or will try to enlighten this person on um, their addictions or their issues, okay? And I feel like possibly, um, if this hasn't happened yet, it will, but I feel like this person will start to acknowledge these things. Whether they do something about it, I have no idea, okay? Why is the star here for Capricorn? We have the star clarified by the lovers and the four of cups in reverse. Okay. So somebody may have a decision to make between two people or just a decision to make in general. There's somebody that is getting clarity on a love situation currently. There is somebody that is still holding on to the hope um, of this person. This is somebody waking up thinking, oh my God, this person is literally, you know, everything I've ever wanted. This is my soulmate. This is, seriously, I know this sounds corny, but it's, it's what it says, you know? And maybe it's like you made this person realize their issues, you know? And they're kind of waking up to like, this is my person. This is what this looks like. Okay, this could be you feeling this way. But this is somebody acknowledging their faults. Okay. And I don't know if this is you and this Eight of Swords energy, the person that's in their head, in their head, in their head, trying to reevaluate things, or if this is your person. I kind of feel like this I feel like this is the both of you honestly I feel like you both are in your head and not really saying anything about it but we'll see here um why is the seven of swords here why is the seven of swords here for the future I'm not taking all those Mm -mm. Kind of 
interesting. Um, you have the Seven of Swords back here too, but it's in the reverse. But this time, this is in the upright. So we have the Seven of Swords clarified by the King of Swords in reverse and the Faith card or the Hierophant. This is, th what this looks like to me, I feel like you may not trust this. I feel like you don't trust this. I feel like you do view this as a spiritual connection, but to me what this looks like, honestly, this looks like somebody playing mind games with the other person or attempting to play mind games within this commitment or in this connection and somebody possibly trying to sneak away from this trying to like dip out gracefully you know or just not tell anybody that they're trying to move on from this because i don't feel like somebody here trusts this to be honest because they feel like the other person is playing mind games they will feel like this person is playing mind games with them somebody is gaining a higher understanding of that you know whether this is true or not If this is not you sneaking away from this because you feel like this person is playing mind games, then this person, then it's that this person is back to their usual thing where they're being sneaky, lying, whatever it is, playing mind games, trying to manipulate the situation within this connection to get an understanding of something or to manipulate you, whatever it is. Or they could be taking advantage of the fact that you feel a spiritual connection or that they know that you feel this way so they're using it to manipulate you to serve them to self-serve i mean it could be a lot of things to be honest and then we have the nine of wands here why is the nine of wands here for capricorn We have the Nine of Wands here clarified by the Nine of Cups and the Death card. I feel like somebody tries to fight for this here. Somebody's going to try and fight for this because this is they view the other person as their wish fulfillment but somebody's guarded here somebody's guarded it's something about the past here and i feel like somebody's just gonna put an end to it damn i wish this was not this way i wish this was not this way it's almost like too little too late yeah nine of swords at the bottom of the deck there's stress around this. It's like whoever, there's somebody here that is not getting it. That's really not getting it. Um, this may have been you that kept hope after you felt like this person acknowledged or will acknowledge, you know, their inner demons. And this is like somebody keeping hope and it's just like disappointment again. You know, or because of that nine of swords at the bottom of the deck, you may just be in your head about this, especially with that eight of swords in the in the energy. You may be almost paranoid that this person is going to screw you over again if they did in the past. OK, and. Um, somebody may come in to fight for this, but it's like somebody it's just too late maybe okay oh my god i have never had it happen like that before <laughs> all right why is the queen of wands here in the future for a capricorn please Okay, that Knight of 
wands in reverse popped up has popped up twice now at the bottom of the deck here. Um, all right. So, if this Queen of Wands is you, you're going to get frustrated with this person. This person may be coming in egotistical, you know, um, not the way, not the idea. Yeah, I mean, we got the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck, the Nine of Wands in reverse, the Page of Wands in reverse, all at the bottom of the deck here. I feel like a fight's going to break out. A fight's going to break out because you're going to be frustrated. Um, I feel like you believe that this person is back to their old ways and I feel like you're just not having it. And I honestly and truly believe a fight breaks out or something not great <laughs> happens between the both of you with that four wands in reverse and the tower. You may feel like somebody is non-committal or this could be um, based around another person, possibly a third party here. Okay. A lot of shakeups, endings, you know, this is um, people in their head. But to me what this looks like is you hoping for somebody to, um, you hoping for somebody to change or for somebody to get it or wake up. And uh, it's like it's back to the same the same song and dance. I don't understand where they're coming from. But I feel like you've seen this before with them, you know. Feel free to switch roles, by the way. But in the current moment, I feel like you're gaining a new perspective on this. You're gaining a new perspective. I feel like you're trying to listen to your intuition, you know. You're trying to use your head and your intuition. I feel like you almost feel like uh, you don't, it's almost like you don't trust your heart with this. Or you don't trust them with your heart. Alright, so let's see what the most likely outcome is. Universe Spirits and Guides, what is the most likely outcome for Capricorn? Sorry, Cappy. Um, it turned off on me. Alright, so for the most likely outcome, we have the Two of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, and the Two of Wands here. Somebody is going to, um, somebody is going to make a decision to, uh, let this go. But I feel like they're still going to be looking back, though. I feel like this is you, kind of. It's like, what this looks like to me, Cappy, is that you don't know what to do. You don't know what to do about this. I feel like you leave them out in the cold. And you're like, I'm done. You know. But I feel like you're still hanging on to that hope here. You're hanging on to hope that this person um, will wake up. It's almost like this person feels this deep connection with you, but it's like, it's like the only way they know how to go about this is by playing games. Possibly. Because I feel like they have in the past here, and that's what this confession was about. So it's like, same song and dance. It's the same song and dance. And that same song and dance is going to cause a tower moment here between you two. This looks like to me somebody trying to fight for this or, you know, whatever it is. Or somebody seeing that the other person is being sneaky or being shady. 
and it puts this person on guard and you just put an end to this. You don't want to share your love with them anymore. And uh, I don't know if they accept it, accept that, you know, that, that ending because it's like there's this tower moment here. So. Anyway, um, Capricorn, I wish that this was more positive. <laughs> But I love you so much. Uh, I hope you enjoyed your reading. It was a pleasure to read your cards. And I will catch you next time, alright? Peace out.